you were invited to a huge celebrity wedding. I know. And you don't know why. I <gasps> do know why. I was, I think I was just so flattered and excited and honored that it kind of didn't make sense. Well, tell us, tell, tell the story. All right. And, and start at the beginning where you're, you're in your bed, corn crib, whatever. Ah, see, you were so uh, close. It was Honestly. You were in your normal bed. Thank you. Right. That a Thank person you. in the 21st century would have. Thank okay. you. Thank and you got the covers pulled up and you are waking up. Yes. Outside. Oh, there come is. on. Come on. Wait a minute. There That's is. not. Uh -uh. A lot of people have chickens now. Really? And roosters. Yes, they do. No. Let's take a poll. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't. I okay. guess I went. That's my point. <laughs> my point is we don't, but we are in a bubble. Most people out there have chickens. But you specifically. <laughs> and you wake up. Eat my slop. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Eat your slop. <laughs> then it's out to the North 40 and you get to work. No, anyway, please tell us. I'll how walk you, you through it. Yes. Tell us about the celebrity wedding. Okay. This, is a big, this is a big one. Okay. So here's how it all began. <laughs> The year was 2009. <laughs> 30 Walk was, was going. Alec Baldwin was hosting SNL on February 14th, 2009. The musical guest were the Jonas Brothers. Oh, for God's sake. Oh, okay. I see where you're going now. For uh, a minute, I didn't know where this was all going. You were already fresh. Let yeah. him tell the story. You told him. Well, I thought he was going to, it's like he was end. testifying and he was giving dates no, and I got nervous. I want to hear the story. All right, I don't want to ruin it because I think it would be getter. Take us from the beginning and go. <laughs> I literally was. Yes, I know. I know. I, know. I apologize. He's doing the thing you asked. I apologize. And you stopped him to tell him to do the well, thing you asked. Well, he started doing dates. I don't want dates. But anyway, go ahead. You do dates all the time. Please. Okay, I'm sorry. Ugh. So anyways, the musical guest were the Jonas Brothers. Alec had me come on and do a little cameo during his opening monologue. So of course I was thrilled to do that. I was like, absolutely. But during the course of the rehearsals and the performances and stuff, you know, just hanging out, I got to know the Jonas Brothers. Delightful individuals, all three of them. And so that was in 2009, and like they were babies back then. And so it's not like I was like, hey, let's exchange information and be friends forever. But during <laughs> during the course of years, our paths crossed again. I saw them at a different uh, SM now when Tracy Morgan was hosting. I was staying in a hotel in Toronto that Nick Jonas happened to be at. And then here in Los Angeles, I'm neighbors with a very talented actor named Glenn Powell. He was oh. just in the Top Gun movie. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, he's so the best. So many attractive men in this story. So, yeah. so Glenn and Nick Jonas had worked together on Screen Queens, which I think was either Fox or FX. Yeah. yeah. And so Glenn is just such a lovely host. He would have game nights, movie nights, you know, just, you know, Know, hangout nights and so Nick Jonas would come to those parties I was their neighbor so I would come over again I'm a thousand years old older than any of these children so I'd be like quiet down now <laughs> 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 and just as a side note Nick Jonas uh, happens to be a big fan of the movie they came together that I was in I mean I have to admit I haven't even seen the movie but uh, he was such a big fan, Glenn would invite me over, and then Nick would ask me all these questions about the movie that I simply didn't have the answers to. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I'm going to catch oh, us no. up. Oh. You became tight with some of the Jonas Brothers. Am I taking too long? A little bit. No. I, I'm sorry. No, no, stop it. I'm sorry. I was trying to get us uh, no, down the no, road no, no. a little bit. I want to hear more about yeah. Glenn Powell and stuff, too. Let's just uh, stop let them butting go in. On his ask me the question. Yes, yeah, sorry. We're sorry about it. Yeah, we're sorry. We only have so much tape in the machine. Stop. There is no You tape. stop talking. Let me talk. This is the worst day of my life. <laughs> 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 okay, so at this time, Nick Jonas is dating Priyanka. Oh. Priyanka Chopra, lovely, very talented actress. And so Nick would have these fun activities with Priyanka, but want to introduce some of his friends to her. So, like, we went on a beautiful yacht ride oh, over Memorial just the Day three weekend. Of you? <laughs> no, oh. no, it was Glenn Powell. You know that whole crowd oh, again. Powell. You were oh, on a fun. yacht with Nick Jonas and Priyanka Chopra. Yeah, you on a yacht. It's just fantastic. This is. Are you making fun of me? I'm not making fun of you. I I, I think the idea of me on a yacht is absurd. I've never been on a yacht. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's a great many things in my life that I'm like this is crazy. The right. Mariah Carey video. Getting eventually invited to Nick and Priyanka's <gasps> wedding. Okay, well, you jumped in that. India. So this is in the story. India. India. This is in this. India. Oh. This is the thing I was trying to get you to some 40 minutes ago. Oh, come uh, on. No, no, no. It's, like, 
No, it's, it's, it's just it. it's his podcast. He's yammering on all this time, and he gets I, mad when somebody else talks. Oh snap! Wow, finally. I'm sorry. I'm just saying it like it is. Yeah. Okay, so <laughs> tell the story of you getting invited to a wedding in D- India. Not any wedding. Nick Jonas, Priyanka Chopra. This is amazing. It. No, no, but now I okay. want to hear about the wedding. Okay, okay. So that's here's the, the thing. That's the, I mean, this is a great story, but let's really get to the meat of it. So I get invited to this wedding in India. Have I ever been to India? No. I don't even Did know. Did you think it was Indiana at first? Be honest. <laughs> Can you leave the room? <laughs> <laughs> Eduardo, let's cut his mic. Let's cut his mic. Oh, they cut my, they've cut my mic. <laughs> cut his vocal cord. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you get invited. Go. I'm sorry. I swear to God, I'll shut up until we get through the wedding. Go. So I was so honored. It was it was bonkers. I was like, yes. If you're being serious, yes. And so I had, you know, a, a mutual friend help me figure out how to book that flight. Now, have you ever been to an Indian wedding? I have not. Oh. If you ever get invited to an Indian wedding, say yes. Isn't yeah. it days long? It's a week long and it's amazing. Wow. Oh, it's like there's what? so many different events and there's so many different wardrobe changes. Like it's bonkers wow. and it is fun. Oh, and it's just beautiful and musical and like colors everywhere. It was really, really fantastic. So you flew all the way to India? I flew to India. Uh, which city? Uh, Jodhpur? Jaipur. <gasps> Jaipur. Uh, Sona and I have been to Jaipur. We have. It was beautiful, and, and it was so fun, and it was like nothing I had ever... It was like a royal wedding, I guess. I've never been to one, but yeah. it was wild. And, like, I'm still friends with all of Priyanka's cousins, and, you know, I, I know all the, the North Carolina family on the Jonas side. It was fun. Wow. It so was cool. really great. you were there for several days. Yeah. And you have to wear, you wear special costumes, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, and like within a day, you have to like change over and stuff. Um, did you, you can I ask you a question? This yeah. is a little, did you pay for the costumes? Oh yeah. You did? Yes, sir. Because I know that you are somewhat frugal. Okay. Is that fair to say? I guess, where's this going? No, I'm just w- wondering if you thought it was did an I imposition. Make homemade clothes for this? <laughs> if there's a way you, do you know what I mean? You no. are a frugal man. When they said to you, you're gonna have to buy six outfits and have them made for you there was no hesitation at all no and here's what else i did flight there on uh with miles and so i only paid 300 dollars to get over there like in business class Ooh. i love that i whisper in front of I know. <laughs> they can. you whispered into a microphone <laughs> no one can know do they tell you what kind of clothes you'll need for each yes, event they were very very uh ah. helpful for all of this um so they actually hooked us up with a company that specializes in the clothes that you'd wear for the certain um, uh, ceremonies. Uh, yeah. And, you know, each one had different meanings, and it was like nothing else I had ever seen. And they made it very user-friendly and welcoming, and it was awesome. Now I have to call these people and say, hey, I talked about y'all's wedding. Yeah. Oh, oh wow. it's fine. You said only nice things. It's not like you yeah. well, said no. anything untoward. And, uh, untoward. Well, I, I think he acquitted himself oh, well. I think it's oh, a yeah. rave review. Yeah. It's a rave review Sound of a beautiful like wedding. It was, it was like nothing I had ever, ever, ever experienced before. 